So when would you say the conflict started happening? When my dad left. How long ago was that? About three years. So you've been sort of off and on with this for the last three years. This must be really difficult. Yeah. I'm so sorry. And I know relationships are hard and they're complicated and messy and layered, but I'll tell you this, there's nothing more rewarding than being able to get on the other side of it and see the other person. I just don't want her to be disappointed with who I am. Sometimes parents get scared. They just want what's best for their kids and sometimes they don't know what that is. But I think your mother knows that she has to give you space so that you can figure out who you want to be. Megan, your mother loves you very much. She always will. I know that because she told us when she was sitting in that very chair. Right, everyone? <laughs> Tell you what, would you be willing to talk with your mother to see if you two could work things out? Yeah, I, I guess. Thank you, Stoney. You're welcome. Can I get a selfie? Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the break. And seeing my dad is always a good thing. What are you going to do with your week off, Missy? I think I'm just going to hang around here. That'll be fun. You know, the suits are being really nice to me. They got me tickets to see Hamilton. You want to come be my date? Listen, Rachel, I heard the crew talking. What about? They're worried they're gonna lose their jobs. Why? They fired Bill during the show. But they can't fire Bill. We created the show together. Yeah, I know, but they did. There's no way. Come in. Hey, Rachel, they need to see you upstairs. I'll be there in just a minute. They said now. Bill is out. You can't fire Bill. It came from upstairs. Well, don't I have anything to say about it? It's my show. It's the company's show, Rachel. Can you say something? Not, not anymore. He has a family, Cam. He's a good guy. He'll find something else. It just feels wrong. They want to take the show to syndication, nationwide. What? Really? But they want to make some <laughs> changes. Oh my gosh! Oh my God! I can't believe I'm meeting you right now. I, I'm, I am such a big fan of you. You're just so dang beautiful and smart. Deborah Steiner Wiseman, Hi. call me Deb. I'm just fangirling so bad right now, I can't help it. Alden, Deb, have a seat. I was just filling Rachel in on our plans. Uh, Deb, the network has chosen Deb to be the new producer of the show. I already have guests lined up for the new format. New format. Rachel, we love what you do. And so do your fans, but the show has just gotten, you know, just a little bit stagnant. But now it's gonna be true. <laughs> stagnant. Mm, well, your numbers are pretty good, but your audience isn't growing. Alden Jeffries has had his own show on YouTube since he was 18 years old. People Magazine named him one of the 50 most interesting people under 30. He has 15 million followers on Instagram and 12 million on Twitter. 13. I, I hit 13 last <laughs> night on Twitter. <laughs> wow, okay, 13 million. His show is Meltdown with Alden Jeffries. Have you heard of it or? No. Uh, it's part tabloid, part 
reality TV. Part shock fest. <laughs> Alden has been called the Jerry Springer of YouTube. Of course, we plan on toning it down just a little bit for national TV. <laughs> uh, the network has decided to bring on Alden Jeffries as your new uh, co-host. Look, I, I told him you could keep top billing. <laughs> the new show will be called Disturbed, starring Dr. Rachel and Alden Jeffries. Okay, no offense to any of you guys at all, but I don't need a new show and I don't need a co-host. I mean, I'm the host of the sh show. I think, I, I think probably need to speak to my agent. Oh, we already have. Look, don't worry, we understand your brand. Here is a list of the shows that we have lined up after you return from hiatus. My husband refuses to wear clothes. There is a mistress in my house. Who's your daddy? The all alcohol diet? You guys must be kidding. No, the idea is that Alden will sort of establish the problem and then you will come in and help these people work through their issues. So I will um, shove them out on the ledge and then you will talk them down. It'll be awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't get my PhD from Columbia in psychology so that I could talk to people about um, spanking themselves back into shape. I help people, I'm a real doctor. Your show is unsustainable. You don't really treat people anyway. You just refer them out. I am trying to help you. Doesn't feel like it. You're not attracting the younger audience. That's why Alden makes sense. Rachel, everybody upstairs loves you. They want to keep you, but you've got to play ball. You're under contract for the next five years. You have to do the show. No one in their right mind would give up a syndicated show in New York City. With Alden. <laughs> you are going to be America's psychologist. Now listen, you go and enjoy your week off and then be back a week from Monday, ready to work on Disturbed. I just feel like an idiot. Like, how did I not see this coming? Nobody saw it coming, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, I'm glad I caught you. I have a camera crew downstairs. We need to get some promotional shots of you and Alden so we can announce the new show. Deb, I just got the news, so if I could have a few minutes to process, that would be great. Time is money, Rachel. The photographer's on the clock. Rachel, I want us to be friends. I understand what you are going through. Now, as your producer, I'm telling you that we need you on set. Go ahead, take a few minutes, pull yourself together, then get to wardrobe and makeup, okay? So good to see you. Good to see oh. you too, Dad. Oh. oh, I like this outfit too. Thank you, bought it just for you. No, you look good. Oh, so do you. You have any other bags? No, it's just this one. Okay. I uh, I just wanted to get out of there. Let's so. get you home, okay? okay.
So, are you hungry? I could eat. Well, what do you want? I haven't really thought about it. Apple cobbler from Darling Jeans. Yes. It's like these people have no loyalty to anything. Do you know who Alden Jeffries is? Oh, some um, YouTube guy? Yes, actually. He, he has a show where he brings people on and they basically just yell at each other the whole time and he stokes it and then he milks it and then he stokes it and then he milks it and he's not actually helping these people. He's just making a joke out of them. Hmm. I don't know. But he's famous. He is. 13 million followers on YouTube. Who are these people? Why do they pay attention to this moron? I don't know. But they want him to be my co-host now. Oh, no. And they keep reminding me, hey, you're under contract, so you have to do it. I don't know. Sorry. I just want to forget about all that and be here with you. That sounds great to me. So, how are you? Oh, I'm falling apart. What's the scoop on Midway? Well, let's see. Um, oh, Mrs. Rurwine's cat got out again. That's always big news. Again? Did they find her? Heading on a freight train to St. Louis. <laughs> One of these days, she's going to get there, too. <laughs> Here you Ooh. are, darling Jean's world famous apple yes. cobbler. Oh, thank you. Mm, You're thank welcome. You, you two enjoy. Thank you. Oh, uh, the. Uh, Bailey celebrated their 65th wedding anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they still sit on their front porch and hold hands? Every night. Wow, good for them. And Mitchell is a teacher at the elementary school. Really? Yeah. I didn't know he was back in Midway. Oh, yeah. He is so good, in fact. He was named Teacher of the Year for the whole district. Really? Yeah. All the kids love him. <laughs> what? I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. It's great having you back, kid. I'm just excited about the cobbler. Personally. I knew it. Yeah. That's the only reason I came home. Buying your love. Mm-hmm. What is it about being back here? It's home. Oh, I love this picture of you, too. Mom looks so happy. That was a beautiful woman. I miss her. Every day. I'm sorry I don't get back as often as I'd like to. Oh, I wish I could be here for you more. Honey, it's not your job. Take care of your old man. You're not old. Tell that to my knees. 
I just hate the idea of you being alone in this big house. There are plenty of people around here who can keep me company. That's the beauty of a small town. Hmm. So, anything you want to do? Uh, to be honest, I kind of just want to put on some comfy clothes. Maybe check some emails, take a bath. Okay. Well, we'll just get your bag upstairs then. You need anything? No, thank you. Love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo. <sighs> I love my bed. My goodness, you look so pretty. But you always did. What are you doing back here at Little Old Midway? Well, I thought it'd be a good idea to see my dad for a few days. You're a good girl. What can I get you? Do you still make your famous chocolate caramel lattes? Of course. I'll have one of those. Coming right up. Thank you. Uh, Mitchell. Rachel. <laughs> well, uh, well I, you're, you're, he, you're here. I am so sorry. No, oh, no, that was my fault. I hate this shirt anyway. <sighs> I'm such a klutz. I should really be thanking you. Uh, I didn't think this actually happened to people in real life. Right. Uh, do you have any soda water? Uh, what are you, <clears throat> what are you doing here? Uh, I just had hiatus and wanted to come visit for a few days. Yeah, cool. That's, that's good. That's great. Um, 
It's good to see you. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to stain oh, your, your sweater. Oh, like, that's fine. Ooh, How are know. you? Good, good, I'm great. Um, I'm actually a, a teacher now, fourth grade. Yeah, my, my dad told me that you got an award. Uh, um, what are they, 10 year olds? Yeah, yeah, mostly. It's a, it's a really fun age and interesting stuff to cover, so. That's great. You know, they're, they're lucky to have you. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't think I'm qualified to be teaching math. I still count with my fingers under the table every time I tip at a restaurant. <laughs> um, what about you, how's New York? Well, you know, it's, it's New York. It's got its ups and downs. Yeah, sure, yeah. Chocolate caramel latte for my favorite out of town guest. Thank you. I dream about these when I'm in New York. On the house. No, really? Yes. I have to try to keep you in town. Right, Mitchell? Huh? Oh, hmm? uh, um, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to work. It was, <laughs> it was really great seeing you both. Yeah, you too. Well, how about that? What? Did you see the way she looked at you? She wasn't looking at me. That's why I have coffee all over my shirt. She still has a thing for you. A thing for me? I don't think people say that anymore. Oh, whatever. Trust me, you two aren't done yet. Hmm. Listen to me, Mitchell. She broke your heart. I know that. But you two were kids then. She's moved on. You'll never know if you don't try. Listen to your Aunt Peggy. I know these things. Hey, Rachel. Hey. Hey. You got your phone. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, if you wanted to talk to me longer, you know, you could have. Oh, you've got me pegged. Um, you want some, some company? Or... Yeah, I oh. love that. I was just uh, gonna go down to the park. Sound good. And this trail, it's a famous trail. Remember right here is where the copperhead bit my foot. He didn't. Well, it was your my, boot, it right? It was my foot, but yeah, it got me there, and then I, I kept the shoe there for a while with two holes in the back. I kept it in a shadow box. <laughs> Are you still deathly afraid of snakes? I am deathly afraid of snakes. I never get tired of watching the water. Always going somewhere. Always changing. So I'm curious what brought you back to Midway. I looked around a little bit, tried some things, but uh, I realized everything I always wanted was right here. I couldn't wait to get out of here. But it's funny though, when things get really crazy, I, it's the only place I want to be. But how that happens. Well, things turned out pretty good for you in New York, yeah? Tell me about life in the big city. <laughs> There's not much to tell. I am always working or driving to work or thinking about work. Probably not a lot of time in your life for a man then, huh? Oh, you're just gonna come flat out and ask, okay. Yeah, I had planned a smoother route than that, but here we are. <laughs> but if I said there was a man? Well, I'd... Want to know all about him, of course. What's he do for a living? Is he good to you? <laughs> what percentage body fat does he have? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm your oldest friend. I feel like he's got to pass muster with me. I gotcha. Well. So? So what? What's his name? I didn't say there was a someone. You said there was a someone. No, I said, what if I said there was a someone? Oh, OK. What about you? Do you still have the girls lining up for a shot at Mitchell Sims? No, I don't think that was ever a thing. Mm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Mm, all right. Yeah, there's a there's this one girl that I that I really care about. Uh, she's she's kind of shy, but she's so cool and she doesn't know it, you know. Mm, what's her name? What does she do for a living? As your oldest friend, I think I'm entitled to this information. Fair enough. Fair enough. Her name is Shelly, and uh, what can I say about Shelly? She's she's a foster kid that Peggy looks after while her mom's in rehab, and she's one of my fourth grade students. So, oh, do you mean like a girlfriend? Oh, oh, okay. Then no. Hmm. Hey, you want to see something really cool? Yes. What is it? Well. Oh, sorry. That's cool. I. I have to take this. Yeah. Just be a second. Hey, Sam. Deborah is a nightmare to work with. She fired half the crew on her last show. And everyone is freaking out. Now I'm getting worried. Well, she can't fire you. You work for me. I know. It's just, I really feel like it's going to hit the fan around here, you know? Let me know if anything changes, OK? And remember, I'll, I'll be home on Monday. Okay, bye. So what did you want to show me? Hmm? Oh, uh, I completely forgot that I have a thing that I got to get to, but, um, yeah. So I got to bounce. That's cool. I will, um, uh, maybe see you around. Okay. So, how's life, kiddo? Um, there's not much to tell. I don't really get out too much, but I, I do, you know, when I can. People know me when I go out. Oh, people know me when I go out around here, too. Well, that's different. You've been here for 60 years. Yeah, but when people know me, I know them back. Okay, tell me about your friends. Well, there's my assistant, Samantha, and she's wonderful. I love having her around. She always knows exactly what I need when I need it. That's great. Anybody not from work? Yeah, sure. Um, but most of my friends I do work with. Honey, you're doing a lot of great things in New York, and I'm so proud of you. I just don't want you working so hard and so much that you're missing out on the rest of your life. I'm not. You know, family and friends are important too, you know, not just work. You know that, right? Yes, Dad. Tell me the story about how you and Mom met. Oh, you've heard that story a hundred times. I know, but I just need to hear it again. Okay. Let's see. First time I saw your mom <laughs> was on the dance floor. We were both in college. She was new to town. She was a freshman. And my best friend spotted her first and asked her to dance. She was wearing this white dress. And the light hit her. It was like a spotlight from heaven, just pointing her out to me. I mean, just for me. How did you know that she was the one, like, for the long haul? Well, that was easy. My heart sang whenever I saw her. Every time she walked in her room, from the first day I saw her till the day she died. Oh, I loved her so much. I was so lucky. We loved each other so much, we couldn't imagine feeling that way about anybody else. And then you came along, and I was shocked to discover that I was wrong, because we loved you just as much, and just as deep, and just as powerful. 
I am so proud of you. And your mama was too. Well, I'm gonna be the laughing stock of New York in about a week. Mm -mm. Not to me or not. And not to anybody that matters. Hmm. Cheers to that. <laughs> Oh, this is Shelly. Hi, Shelly. My name's Rachel. She's Dr. August's daughter, the one from TV, you remember? She's kind of shy with strangers. That's okay. I was shy when I was your age, too. I do hope to get to see you again. I see you met my favorite fourth grader. Shelly Rachel is my daughter. I know. She's a doctor, too, just like me. That's right. Hey, Shelly, could I ask you a really big favor? Would you talk to Rachel for a little while? I need to talk to Mitchell. Is that okay with you, Shelly? Yeah, she seems nice. Okay. Why don't you come with me? So how are you feeling today? Fine. You're not having any worries or Things that are bothering you? Can you tell me about what happened at school today? Nothing, just school. Tell me about your best friend. Or any of your friends? I don't have any. It can be really hard to make friends sometimes. I wanna show you something. Need to borrow your chair. Mm -hmm. Can you hold it for me? Yeah. My dad used to hide these really cool books up here. They're still here. You know, these were so cool. I can't believe they didn't turn them into comic books or something. This is Miranda with two licks. She's a princess. She's not like every other princess. She actually fights for her people. And Miranda could... Oh, wait, I shouldn't tell you that. Spoiler alert, Rachel. I used to love these when I was your age. Something about her, I don't know, she's just brave and strong. See, this is her armor. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. She doesn't always wear her armor, though. Sometimes she doesn't need it. She can just be herself and spend time with the people that she cares about. Who's that? That's Willow. It's her best friend. They do everything together. But when they were younger, it was a little bit harder because they actually didn't get along very well. Willow did something to embarrass her, and it really hurt Miranda's feelings. But they, they were young. Rachel? Spoiler alert. <laughs> You're right, sorry. You know what, if you want, you can take this home with you and read it and then we can talk about it the next time we see each other. Okay. I think she looks a lot like me. Oh, I can see that. I think you look a lot like Miranda. Well, thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> There she is. Y'all done? Yep. What you got there? Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, I showed her one of our Miranda books. She's a pretty cool girl. Nice. Remember when I was obsessed with that? I do remember that. You went through a phase that that was pretty much all you wanted to do, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What's her famous saying again? Miranda of the Two Lakes. I'm gone. Ah, that's right. Uh, let me get your coat. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Well, Shelly, I will see you later. Okay. Hey, you ready? Yep. So, yeah. Uh, it's good to see you. 
After you. Hey, Mitchell. I might be in town a little later tonight. Well, maybe I'll see you later tonight. Okay. Don't look at me like that. What's up, guys? How you doing tonight? Good. All right. Brooks, Ronnie, wait, 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 wait. Don't you guys have homework? Um, uh, we were just um, getting hot cocoa with our friends. Yeah. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? See ya. I right. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. You're very popular. Yeah, with the fourth graders. <laughs> What drew you to teaching? What drew me to teaching? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the kids, they're, they're brutally honest, no filter. I mean, yeah, they have the attention span of a gnat, but occasionally when you can see that light come on and they really get something, you know? I don't know. There's no better feeling in the world. Hello, Mitchell. Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, nice evening. It sure is. What? <laughs> I teach a senior Sunday school class. Ah, of course you do. <laughs> what is that? You're a good man, Mitchell. You want to see a movie or something? Hmm. Not really. Do you want to see a movie? No, not really. There's always ice cream. I like ice cream. Or the football field. Are we feeling nostalgic? I am feeling nostalgic. Well, all right. Mmm. This is delicious. Yeah? There's something about eating ice cream when it's cold outside. Really? I think if I lived here, I'd weigh 500 pounds. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm pushing six, six fifty, maybe. Really? Or you hide it well? Oh, I just kind of hold it all in when I'm around you. Mm. you. Must be uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. Thank you. And exhausting. Every time you look away, I get to let it all hang out, but then you look back at me, and I gotta suck it all back up in. You look like me. Wow, it's a lot smaller than I remember. It's tiny. Well, I wouldn't say tiny. Not to diminish your glorious accomplishments. Yeah, those were short-lived. Hey, I think the entire production of Camelot benefited from your torn ACL. Sir Lancelot. Lady Guinevere. My dad still talks about that performance. Uh, I know. He won't let me forget it either. Well, you made quite an impression. An impression? Is that what you would call it? I remember after the first show, Mr. Day came up to me and he said, son, please don't sing the lyrics. Just talk them. <laughs> hey, you remember our senior superlative? Of course. The, the perfect, perfect couple. couple. So. So. Do uh, you want to uh, walk around? Me, yeah, sure. Yeah? You can go. All
Oh, hey, honey. Must have dozed off there. Sorry to wake you up. You just getting in? Yeah, it's only 9 o'clock. <laughs> did you see Mitchell there? Yes, you know I did. Huh. You know, he was uh, voted Teacher of the Year for the whole district last year, you know? Mm -hmm. You told me already. Oh, I did, didn't I? Shelly's just crazy about him. Yeah, Kids have a way of sizing people up. What are you doing, Dad? Who, me? Nothing. It's not like I haven't thought about what my life would look like if I had stayed. But I, I have a great life and. I know. And I'm successful and I live in the greatest city in the world. And if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. And they're offering me a syndicated show, which has always been my goal. It's a huge stage, you can reach lots of people. <sighs> but am I really helping anyone? I mean, I don't, I don't even see patients anymore. What kind of therapist doesn't see patients? Oh, a busy one with her own show. I loved working with Shelly today. I felt like I really connected with her. You know, I miss that one-on-one, that -on -one, you know? The back and forth, it's so challenging. But then the breakthrough is so rewarding. Yeah. I think I want to start seeing patients again. Oh, that's great, honey. You are so good with kids. They need somebody like you. Yeah, I have a lot to think about. I'm gonna turn in. Okay. Night, Daddy. Night, honey. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you still do that, huh? Uh, only to you. No, I'm honored. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing here? That's... Nothing? I thought I'd just come out here for a little heart attack. Mm, I'm glad I can help. I need oh. a break, guy. Give me some miles of smooth concrete and sidewalk. You come all the way out of here just to scare me half to death? No, I, I just wanted some time alone. Oh, sorry. Mm. No, I'm glad I ran into you again. Me too. You do realize where you're sitting. Should I? That's where we had our first kiss. Over there? Really? No, oh, you remember. I do remember. Hey, I am. Um... I'm really sorry the way that I handled everything when I left. It was awful. I was awful. That was a long time ago. I was stupid. And cocky. Maybe a little cocky. Now we were, we were both stupid. It was, it was just such an amazing opportunity. I mean, New York, I never dreamed I'd get a chance to go and I just, I'm sorry. 
I'll work through it. You want to know how? Yes. I took up darts. Darts? Mm-hmm. I bought a board and a set of darts. I took the nicest set I could find, too. It cost me 300 bucks. I had little eagle feathers on the tips, and, uh, yeah, I just taped your picture on the board, and I started throwing the darts, and I, and I got really good really fast. It was the craziest thing. Ha, ha. Wish I could make it up to you. Well, we could let me take you on a proper date. A date, huh? Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. I could show you how it's done down here in Kentucky. And when would you want to take me on this proper date? Well, I don't know. I, I, I really hadn't put much thought uh, into tonight. Tonight could be an option. <laughs> tonight, okay. Say 7.30? 7.30. What should I wear? The nicest dress you have, of course. 7.30, OK. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot I have, I have plans at 7.30. What are you doing at 7.31? I think I'm still available. Yeah? OK, good. Oh, they just canceled. 7.30's open. Oh, but I just made plans. Ah. You have no idea where you're going. No, Dad, it's a surprise. Well, you better hurry up. It's almost 7.30. Relax, you're making me nervous. Boy better come up with something special. Are you ready? Dad, stop. He's here. Evening, Dr. August. I'm here to pick up Rachel. <laughs> wow. You look. Wow. Uh, these are for you. Oh, thank you. Mm. You're beautiful. There you go. Yeah, Dad, can you put these in some water? You bet. You kids have fun. Yeah. So, you're not even going to give me a hint about where we're going? A hint? Um, Camelot. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. May I take your coat? Oh, no. Oh, sure. Get that for you. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sir, may I take your scarf? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Have a great evening. You too. So, close your eyes. Why? Just trust me. Okay. Now take my arm. Oh. And we're walking. And eyes are still closed? Yes. Okay, almost there. A little bit further. A peek. <laughs> okay. Open. Uh, is this all for us? Shall we? My God. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, 
I have been to some of the finest restaurants in New York, and none of them have been in a castle. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Is it okay? Because if not, I can order a bottle of Dom de Luis. <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> no, it's great. Is that still your favorite movie? Well, I have some new ones. Kate and Leopold? <laughs> oh, you think I'm so predictable. You're anything but that. So, uh, New York. Tell me about it. Are you, are you in Manhattan or where are you? Brooklyn, um, but I work in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no. I have to travel to Manhattan a lot, so it's just a train ride. Is that where your office is? No, I work from home, actually. You have people with mental health issues coming into your home. That's cool. <laughs> no, I'm, um, I'm not treating any patients right now. I'm just focusing on the show mainly. It's too bad for everybody in New York. You're incredible with people. And you made quite an impression on Shelly. She keeps telling me stuff out of the Miranda book. I don't think I've ever seen her so talkative. She's a really sweet girl. So when did you move back to Midway? It was last fall, yeah. There was an opening at the school after old Miss Carter finally retired. Miss Carter? Oh my gosh. Wait, she's still alive? Yep, 143 years old now, I think, yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about her. You did? Oh, I didn't. I used to be terrified of her. I'm still terrified of her. I had a nightmare with her in the last night. <laughs> but the kids, they, they all loved her, so she must have been doing something right. I'm sure they love you, too. <laughs> May I have this dance? I'm okay. Thank you for a wonderful evening. It was just what I needed. No, I aim to please. It's been, it's been so great seeing you again. What are we doing? Um, I was about to kiss you. So what do you, uh, what do you want? I don't know. Might be good to figure it out. I live in New York. Yeah, but that's not you, right? I mean, not, not really. You want to help people, don't you? And you're incredible with kids. You don't need subways and 
crowds and fame from working on a stupid show with some YouTube idiot. You're better than that, Rach. We haven't seen each other in oh, many years. I, I don't know if we really know each other that well. You deserve better. You deserve somebody that you can share your life with. You're sweet and you're honest and you're funny and you're smart. And, Mitchell, no. And I love you, Rachel. I've always loved you. Okay. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe we don't know each other anymore. Maybe we never did. I don't know. Um, oh, good night. So your heart is telling you you have more for you in New York? Yes. No. Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? I don't know. What do you think? Dad, you're missing the point. I don't know what to do. I get that. Do you care about him? Of course I do. Do you love him? It's not that simple. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Dad, stop saying that. I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, I can't answer that for you, kiddo. You're gonna have to figure that one out yourself. Well, baby, you're a smart girl, but sometimes you let your head get in the way. And I have faith you're going to make the right decision. Thanks, Dad. And that's all the time we have for today. I have other patients to see. OK, smarty pants. You a liar. Defend yourself, Robert. What do you have to say? Well, what do you expect? Every time I come home, you're just sitting there on the couch, all drunk, house is trash, kids well, are a mess. Yeah. You are just a piece of lying piece of. I was just about to call you. Guess where I'm standing right now. Um, you'll have to tell me. The new set. It is perfect. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see it. Alden is so excited to work with you. That's nice. 
Yeah. Um, well, Dad, the reason I was calling is uh, I wanted to talk to you about some show ideas that I had. Oh, oh, good. Um, yeah, of course. We'd love to hear all, all about... Ah, 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 ah. Watch out. I'm sorry. This place is crazy right now. The, well, the first one is I had this idea to talk to twins that were separated at birth who find that they have this feeling or something that's connecting them to each other. And Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds interesting. Um, why don't you write something up and send it to me? Well, I had some other ideas, too. Oh, I'm sure you do. Just send it to me. It's still my show, Deborah. Of course it is. Send it to me, okay? Okay, will do. Oh, no, 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 not over there. Over there. Uh, I'm sorry, Rachel, it's just so busy here right now. Do you need anything else? No, that, that was it. I guess I'll just see you later. I'm counting on it. Hello? Rachel. Oh, hi, Peggy. Is there any way you could meet Mitchell and Shelly at your dad's office? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, Shelly's having a little meltdown, and she asked to see you. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. So what has you so upset today? J Jenny asked me to go to her house and, and spend the whole night. Well, that sounds fun. I can't do that. I, I barely know her. Who is Jenny? She's this really popular girl in my class. And what did you say when she asked you? Nothing. Nothing. I, I said, let me get back to you. Well, is, is Jenny nice? She is now. She, she was mean at first. What makes you say she's mean? She was one of the ones calling me a, a smelly instead of Shelly. No, you're right. Why is it very nice? Do some of the other kids still call you that? No, she made everyone stop. I think I know what it is. What? I think Jenny wants to be your friend. Y you think so? I do. I think so. I... I don't know. Have you gotten to the part in the book where Miranda and Willow are little girls? Mm-hmm. And how Willow said something that really embarrassed her? Yeah. What happened after that? They... they became best friends. That's right. Like, the best, best friends ever. And what would have happened if Miranda had just not given Willow another chance? Nothing. Nothing. It's exactly right. No friendship, no adventures together, nobody watching her back, nothing. Look, I know sometimes it can be really hard to take your armor off and let somebody in because there's always a chance you're gonna get hurt. But people aren't meant to be alone all the time. Sometimes in order to be happy, we have to take chances. I'll tell you what, why don't you tell Jenny that you'll stay until bedtime and then talk to your Aunt Peggy and Mitchell and tell them to pick you up. But if you're having fun and you wanna change your mind, just call them and tell them you changed your mind. What do you say? That doesn't sound too scary. Oh, I am a professional. Don't get a big head. If you do get scared, what is it that Miranda always says? Revenge of the Two Lakes, on guard! <laughs> you feel better? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, a castle. You know, it sat abandoned for quite a while. You know, the turrets were sideways. Yeah, the original guy built it for his wife and... Uh... Well, Shelly, don't you? You look better. You ready to roll? Mm-hmm. All right, let's roll. 
Hey, uh, thank you for, thank you for coming. My pleasure. All right. Do you think maybe we could talk before I leave? We didn't get a chance to sort of... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of got a lot going on this evening, but maybe next time you're in town. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. No, oh, you can't blame him, honey. He's just protecting his heart. I'm a doctor. I specialize in relationships. How could I let this happen again? What is wrong with my brain? Honey, I don't think your brain had a whole lot to do with it. What am I supposed to do? Maybe you just ask yourself if this guy is in it with you for the long haul. And if you can say yes to that, <laughs> come on, I need some ice cream. I forgot how early it gets dark around here in the fall. You know, it gets dark early in New York too, Rachel. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm what? gonna go back to New York and I'm gonna sell this ice cream and Peggy's chocolate caramel macchiatos for $10 a piece <laughs> and probably make bank. Yeah, that would be a shame because you're really good working with kids. And you were amazing with Shelly. I mean, would you have two sessions and you completely turn her life around? She just needed some confidence is all. I mean it. Kids immediately connect with you. And once you've got their trust, everything else just falls into place. You could do a lot of good around here. Are you offering me a job? Yes, of course. God, I can't keep doing this forever. It'd be great to have you as a partner. Well, I'm flattered. Well, think about it. It's a standing offer. I miss this. What, the ice cream? No, walking and talking with my dad. I miss you too, kiddo. Morning, Dr. August. Morning. I was hoping to maybe catch her before she left. Well, sure, Mitchell. I'll let you two talk. I'll just. Hey. Hey. I didn't want you to leave without seeing you one more time. Mitchell, I'm so sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. I know it's not fair for me to expect you to stay. And I just, you know, I wanted you to know that I, I completely understand. Just remember that some of your biggest fans will always be right here. I didn't expect to come. I should probably get going. You got a flight to catch.
for coming down here today. Who's excited? Yeah! Yeah, you are. Smile for me. Beautiful, as always. Thank you. How are you doing? Fine. I'm fine. Do you think that I actually help people? Of course. I mean, really. You have helped countless people take the first step, and that's the most important thing, right? It's not enough. Oh, I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to say hello and officially welcome you to Disturbed. Oh, everything looks great. Let's have you wear the outfit that we picked out for you. Oh, and uh, wear the glasses. I don't wear glasses. Well, you do now. It's a much better look for you. Is that what the focus group told you? Nope, just producer's preference, and I want your hair down and around your face. Um, I'm much more comfortable wearing it the way that I normally wear it. This is the look that we need from you to appeal to the younger demographic. <sighs> well, my audience knows me and they're not gonna buy this. Oh, you're just getting an upgrade, you know, redesigned. And what if I refuse? <laughs> I'll see you on set. Hey, Deb, did you get my email? Your what? I emailed you some show ideas that would work for me in Alden like you asked me to. Oh, great ideas. I just sent them up to the focus group to see how they'll fly. Oh. Today is gonna be great. You're gonna knock them dead. Everybody hates her. What are you gonna do? What I have to do? Well, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. There's this 10-year-old girl named Shelly. She's having anxiety just like I did when I was her age. And I think I actually helped her. Well, I'm sure you did. I just wanted to make a difference and look at me now. You've made a difference in me. Really? Oh my gosh! It's Dr. Rachel! I'm sorry, I am just fangirling so hard right now. Yeah, you said that already. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got my flowers. Oh, hey, Rach. We're changing lives. Oh my gosh, girl, this headshot. You are just so dang beautiful. <laughs> and smart. He's not that bad, right? No, he's, he's pretty bad. I think mothers don't get the credit that they deserve for all the work that they put in, so I, I, I can understand why that would be difficult for you. It's actually very common for a mother to feel unappreciated at home. Yeah, now I feel like I'm, I'm home all day with her and I'm cooking her lunch and I'm doing her laundry and, you know, then he comes home and he just wants to flop in front of the TV and I just, and it just makes me feel... You feel alone? Yes, alone. You know, I just wish I had some more support on the home front, you know? So you're telling me that you love this girl as if she were your own? Well, she's mine, man. I love her because she's mine. You ain't her daddy. You ain't even half the man that her real daddy is. I am the father, woman. What? Her real daddy is in the audience. <gasps> what? <gasps> Would you be willing to take a paternity test? Who are you talking to? You, in the hot dog shirt. Would you be willing to take a paternity test? What's that? It's a blood test to show that you're the father. Yeah, I can do that. All right. And where's the other man claiming to be the father? Right here. <gasps> would you be willing to take a paternity test? Yes, I would. Well, come on down. <laughs> and we'll be back with the results of this paternity test after a quick message from our sponsors. Yeah! All right, we are out. We are back in two minutes. It's exciting. We're killing it. Woohoo! Yeah, come on, come on, sit down. Rachel. I'll be back in a minute. Is Rachel August gonna be back? You make an idiot of yourself. Yes, sure. 
Rachel, uh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. We're back in 60 seconds. And we're back. We now have two men who claim to be the father of this young girl right here. But I hold in my hands the results of the test. Man, she don't want nothing to do with you. She don't know you. She don't love you. I do love you, Daddy. Aww. Hey, hey, boy, you get your hands off my daughter. Don't baby, you even baby, don't you. Come on, baby. Baby. Oh, you, you, want you, you want any of this? You want to send me back to Italy? I don't care. You gentlemen. Gentlemen. You gentlemen. You want to send me back to Italy? I have the results. You don't need to fight. We'll know who the real father is. Alden, you're going to do great. I quit. Rachel! What is she doing? Well, I guess that's what you'd call quitting. Rachel? Rachel, if you leave now, you will never work in this town again. Do you hear me? You will ruin your life. I hope not. Oh, and these are a much better look on you. So, uh, did I win? I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. I put you no, out of the don't job. don't be. I, I just like working with you. What are we going to do? I have no idea. Have you ever been to Kentucky? What? I think I'm offering you a job. Well, I think I'm taking it. I can't pay you for a little while, though. Well, it's even better. What will I be doing? I don't know. Well, it sounds perfect. I'll call you. Okay. Oh, my purse. Go get him. Scene where, well, I like the first scene because he's a, a little kid. That's true. How about yours, Mackenzie? Um, I don't really know. Rachel! Whoa. I knew you'd come back. I told him you would. You did? Yeah. You just have to meet my best friends. This is Dr. Rachel, my other friend I told you about. Let me see. Is your name Jenny? How would you know? Lucky guess, I suppose. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dr. Rachel. <laughs> and this is my other best friend, Mackenzie. Hi. I've heard a lot about you, Dr. Rachel. It's nice to meet you. Have you seen Mitchell? You need to talk to him. I think he's really sad. He's over there. What are you doing here? I quit. I just walked right off the stage and out the door. Why'd you do that? I think I realized that it wasn't me. You think? I know, I, I think. I don't know. Well, I hope you figure it out.
Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. Can I come with you? If you can keep up. doing here? So I, I can't do this a third time, Rachel. I can't do it. I know what I want. I mean, ever since I was a little girl, all I wanted to do was help people and make a difference, right? And then I, all of a sudden, I'm working on this TV show, and I convinced myself that I was, that I was actually helping the people who watched my show. I realize now that that's not enough. I looked in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw. And then there's you. I, I got on the airplane and I missed you. I missed my friend. Your friend? Yes, my best friend. And the only man that I've ever loved. You're my home, Mitchell. So I'm, I'm standing here in my broken high heels, my feet muddy in an outfit I'd never be caught dead in, just asking you to take me back. If there's any part of <laughs> Sorry, were you saying something? Do you realize where we're standing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. 